When fishing with my crews and expanders, whether you're fishing that during the winter or the summertime, obviously the most important thing about that is getting your two mil pellets dead right. I love the two mil fin perfect pellets. I think they're absolutely bang on for this sort of fishing. One, they take the water on really, really quickly and they do swell up. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually get me pellets soaked right for what I'm going to be doing, especially for today. So put well, however many pellets you want, just put them in a container. And then, because the weather is cold today, I want these pellets soaked to the max. So I get some water, tip that over top your two mils, and I normally get that water just over top the two mil fins, like that. Make sure they're just all, just pat them down, like that. And they've just now, the water is probably about two or three mil over top the pellets. And obviously I would do this when I get to me peg, if I'm setting up some gear, you want to be doing this 45 minutes to an hour before you're actually going to start fishing. So I would put them on my side tray and start setting the gear up. Now I'm going to show you the few different ways of actually feeding these pellets when they've taken the water on. I've left them thin pellets now for roughly approximately 45 minutes. And as you can see, they've taken all that water on and you can actually get them now and actually squeeze them. They've gone soft all the way through, which is you know really, really important, more so in the winter than the summer. And really important if you're fishing for skimmers. So they're all the way through. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways of how I actually feed these micros now. I've got a little cab pot on my top kit there. Obviously, you come, they come with different lids. I'll start off with a little sprinkle lid like that. They just clip on the, on the pot like that. And you can put your micros in there. Just spray them in. They're sort of, when you're fishing, I would say that's more so about fishing on snake lakes when you're fishing up against far bank features and you want to get two or three feeds out of one pot. So you can like tip them over, just tap your pole a little bit. You might get sort of 10 pellets come out and you can drop your expander or whatever hook bait you're using. If you don't get a bite, you might have to sit there for a couple of minutes, tip your pot over again, sprinkle a few out and then carry on like that. It's really important. It just saves you coming back all the time and re, re basically putting more bait in your pot. And that's the sprinkle pot lid. Let's get him off a minute. And then you've got this little pot, uh, this, sorry, this little lid again. This is the lid with just a hole in it. This is probably the lid that I use probably 80, 90% of the time. I just put me two mils in that, shake them in like that with your fingers. And then you can just dump them out, you know, wherever I'm fishing in open water up against an island. Two different variations for you. But some that you can do, which is I do a lot, not just for F1s and skimmers, I do a lot for carp, is actually get these soaked pellets and just give them a little squeeze like that. And them two mil fins like that, they just sit together absolutely perfect. Probably too wet for the method there. You know, they're too wet. If I want to fish a method feed, they're too wet. And you can just thumb them into your pot like that and then go out like i said you can be fishing this in deep water or if the, you know if you just want the fish to get to the bottom just tap that out little ball goes to the bottom and then breaks down it's a bit like a little method feeder if you like and that on its day winter or summer for all sorts of different fish can be absolutely deadly 